Good morning, New York City. It's Vlogmas Day 11. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning which means a bagel run. Let's go get some bagel sandwiches. All right, we just got back, I got my bagel. These New York City bagel establishments are so on top of it, like my college town bagel shops could never. Like there would be a longer line than we would see it in college and like they just get it done. That's what I do love about New York City. Um, I got what I always get, a sesame bagel with ham, egg, and cheese. Oh, so beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to eat my bagel and upload yesterday's Vlogmas and just attempt to have as much of a me morning as I possibly can. And then I think I'm going to a pregame with UVA people um, and my friend Mary Steven and their friends um, in a little bit. But she said she's also hasn't gotten ready and she was in line for a bagel too. So I was like, okay, so we're on the same energy right now. Um, I showered this morning already before we went and got a bagel and uh, Ryan lent me his special Santa hat for today because the one that my costume came with that I bought on Amazon is like flat and not voluminous like this one so he lent it to me today because he's sadly not coming to SantaCon. He, um, with his friend that's visiting from um, Georgia, they're going to the Army Navy football game. It's, a, it's like the biggest rivalry game each year for them. and. They have a friend that's being honored at halftime too, so it's just a really exciting day for them. So he's going to that. He's so sad though because Santa Con's like makes sense for him, but he was like, "You just we have to go next year because I've heard so many things like you do Santa Con your first year living in New York and then you kind of don't. Not that that's a rule, but a lot of people tend to do that. And so Ryan's like, "We're doing it next year too." I was like, okay. um, "So yeah, that's the lay of the land. Let's have a me morning." All right, so. I just thought it was a good idea to feed my body with some greens and nutrients as I'm wearing a fireball shirt. Um, so I ordered a juice from Agave Juice. It's in the East Village. Sounds of the city, excuse that. And I built my own juice, so this is kale, spinach, ginger, and green apple. A great combo. And then I ordered a little ginger shot. That's awesome, I didn't know it was gonna be fresh. And then I got this to have for like tomorrow. This is one of their like pre-made cold pressed juices. Cucumber, celery, cilantro, spinach, kale, collard greens, and lemons. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. So yeah, we'll take this ginger shot in a little bit. Um, I'm about to do the Vlogmas thumbnail. Okay, let's try the juice, let's try the juice. Oh, I did a good job. Well, they did a good job, but I picked the good ingredients. <laughs> you guys, my mom. Okay, so we have this wreath at home, and when I was home for Thanksgiving, I just thought it was the most gorgeous thing, because it's so, like, yes, it's a like a holiday wreath, but also it's just such a beautiful decoration throughout the whole year. And I just kept making comments about it while I was at home, not like intentionally, I just thought it was so beautiful. And then I was like, okay, maybe I will buy it. And then the website that she bought hers from was sold out. So I was like, it's not meant to be. And then she texted me a couple days ago. I found you the same one, it's on the way, and it's here, and it's so beautiful. And so what I was thinking, because I got the wreath, obviously, for my front door, but this one's so pretty, I really wanna see it. So I need to get another hook or something. But I kinda wanna put it here to like cover this or above, I don't know. But on this door is the goal. It's just so gorgeous, I'm obsessed with it. Thank you, mom, I love you, it's so beautiful. All right, here's what we're working with today. I got this on Amazon a couple weeks ago. And this is the hat it came with. It literally is just so depressing when you put it on your head. It's just not fluffy enough. So Ryan has the true <laughs> Santa hat. He has a multiple, so I lucked out with this one and he washes them weekly. It's hilarious. Um, and so yeah, this is a really cute little dress. I haven't tried it on yet, so hopefully it fits right. And a belt. I think the belt honestly makes it. And I actually don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear yet, so updates to come on that. But I'm gonna start getting ready <laughs> i don't feel like going just yet i like still want to be lazy but i also have nothing to do so it's getting ready at time i do love getting ready in my bathroom i always feel like i'm in a vogue beauty secrets video because of the light and the i don't know okay you gotta romanticize every day i'm gonna start with my sunday riley ceo glow serum so the lay of the land today is 
go to this UVA pregame. I literally don't know anyone except one of my best guy friends from high school uh, was in the fraternity of where this pregame is. No, I'm not going to a fraternity house, but like a ton of guys from this one fraternity at UVA, I guess, live there all together and he's in town and he's staying with them. So I'm like, oh, that'll be fun to see him. Um, it's so funny. It's like post-grad world is still kind of like college-y in a way, which is fun. I'm honestly just so excited to walk around New York City wearing a Santa outfit alongside so many other people. Like it's just, I love Christmas so much. You guys know this, it's a festive time. So that'll be good. I'm excited because tomorrow I have nothing planned. So I, I really just need to find someone that's gonna go ice skating with me because a ton of really close people in my life do not like to ice skate. Brooke and Ryan, they do not, <laughs> a ton. <laughs> but like everyone I've asked doesn't really want to. My friends Mary and Steven and Morgan do want to ice skate, so I might try and convince them to go tomorrow night. We'll see about that. Um, so yeah, updates to come. I have a question for you guys about merch. Like, we were talking about merch. Oh, you should do updates to come merch or some other things. But I'm like so focused on the Gals on the Go merch. Like, I really love creating that. And I just, I don't know. I've had my own merch before in the past and it did well. But I kind of would just rather focus my attention on doing bigger things. Like, I really want to, I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx it. There's something I really do want to do that's going to take me a really long time, but it's so on brand. You guys could probably guess what it would have to do with. And I'd rather focus more time and money and energy on that than like, doing merch with a shirt on it that says updates to come. Not that I know you guys would support it and everything, but I feel like I could just do better, you know? Like, I like the Gals in the Go merch, we've got a whole system. I don't know, that's how I feel. But, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Like, if you really want merch, I love designing stuff. I low-key want to make an iced latte and spike it with Irish cream. I feel like that's like, such an ideal SantaCon moment. And then I could like, go to this pregame and just bring that and everyone would be like, you're just drinking coffee? I'd be like, it's spiked. I'm gonna finish getting ready because you guys saw my current makeup routine already, um, which was in a couple of my vlogmases ago with all the links in the description of that video of all the products I'm using right now because I'm about to do the same exact look. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna finish getting ready here and put my outfit on. I'm ready. <laughs> I literally feel so cheery right now. Um, okay, I actually ended up wearing this hat that I had on my own because I thought the black tied in with the belt and my boots that I'm wearing. Um, so yeah, I did the same everyday makeup. I have a ColourPop lipstick on. I almost did a red lip, but I don't want to worry about like having to reapply it later. Hat is from Amazon. I wish it was a shorter one, but I just liked having a black hat. And then here's the dress. It fits pretty well. I need to put on some spandex or something because it's very uh, free down there. Um, and it came with this belt, which cinches it at the waist. And then I was FaceTiming my mom while I was getting ready and I was like, should I wear cowboy boots? And she was like, definitely. Cause I wanted some black boots, but I didn't want them to be heeled boots cause we're walking around a lot. So I'm wearing my cowboy boots from Luke Casey. Things that just make sense. Like this is so cute. I'm actually really happy and it. it's comfortable and it's not too cold out, which is awesome. So yeah, I think I am going to now make a latte with Bailey's because that just makes sense, right? As I make this latte, I'm gonna tell you guys about things I've learned about day drinking and my little life hacks. So a lot of you guys ask me why I don't use my Nespresso that much, and it's not on purpose. I love my Nespresso. Um, I just like hot cups of coffee in the morning, and this does make coffee, but I weirdly am one of those people that like my cured cup of coffee, and then in the afternoon, my second cup, I like a latte. But sometimes, like the other morning, I use this instead. It just kind of depends, I don't know. Um, I just love them both, I'm addicted to coffee, okay? One thing I've learned about like, darties or dangers or whatever you guys all call it is, everyone's on different eating schedules and it's just really hard to find time to eat or like someone just ate, whatever it may be. So I have learned to bring a snack or granola bar with me in my purse in case. So I'm gonna bring this Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. It's got a ton of protein and fiber and it truly fills you up, which we love. So I'm gonna throw that in my purse. I'm gonna get this going. All right, we've got the caffeine. 
now we got to get the Baileys. Where is that? Oh, here. It is. So Baileys is an Irish cream which does have some alcohol in it. This is 17% alcohol. So it just tastes so good with coffee or hot chocolate. So we're going to pour a little in here and it's chilled so it'll be like instead of creamer I'm going to use Irish cream. Love that. It's kind of sweet so I don't put too much. Oh this is a hot cup because I haven't put ice in it yet. Let's see. ASMR aesthetic. We love that. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put an ice and taste this and see if I need any more. Oh my gosh. The sound of that is so amazing. Cooling it off. Oh my god. That is so good. I could put a little bit more in, right? Just like a little. Here we go. <laughs> this is my only one of the day. I'm just gonna jam to some Christmas music, drink this. Okay, yeah. There's the taste, that's what I wanted. Cheers. <laughs> okay gang, we are headed to the races. We're doing the SantaCon thing. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. I don't need to be like too caffeinated. Um, so I'm just bringing this little bag to the pregame. I drink very slow and I don't drink a lot. So I'm only bringing two little drinks here. Might not even, I almost just brought one, but I was like, just in case. I love these babe drinks. So today I've got the babe rose. So I'm bringing two of these, but they're both like pretty strong. So I, I might just drink one, we shall see. But before we head out, um, before I call the Uber, I'm gonna take this ginger shot with you guys. This is an interesting one, huh? All right, I think this is a ginger shot. It smells like one. Cheers, guys. Happy Santa Con. <laughs> that feels great. Damn, I wish there was more burn in that. That was tasty, actually. I think this one had lemon and stuff in it. All right, I'm gonna go. Wish me luck of bringing this bag. My, like, cookie's sticking out of it. I'm dead. Um. Here we go. I'll be taking you guys along the day as best I can. Let's go. We'll just take one for the road, right? <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> guys, I literally left. We were having so much fun there. They had a DJ at the pregame. It was so fun. Met so many people. And then I started to get hungry. And if you know me, when I start to get hungry, it's kind of like, like I can't just keep drinking like I need to eat. So I made the bold decision and I Ubered myself home. And while I was on my way home, I ordered Uber Eats Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Icon energy only though because now it's almost here and I can enjoy it. and <laughs> no one's gonna agree with me but like SantaCon got me in the Christmas spirit and like on the way home my Uber driver was playing like this really relaxing Christmas piano and it made me want to watch a Christmas movie right now I'm so random I know I know okay so much fun but I kind of want to like eat this Chick-fil-A and watch a Christmas movie. <laughs> if my friends knew I love to do that, they'd be really mad at me. But then I have some friends from UGA who are in town this weekend. They're at a different bar. So either way, I needed to make it back over to the Lower East Side. We were in like Gramercy area. Um, so I'm gonna eat my my food and then decide what I'm doing from there. But while I eat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a Christmas movie and uh, that's that on that. Um, got a couple events tonight. My friend's friend is happy. She like rented out a bar at Short Stories, which sounds really, really fun, like a holiday party. And then my amazing video editor is Jordan. Shout out, she's editing this right now. She's moving and I'm really sad, but she's having a little going away party tonight at Chloe 81, which is where I have my birthday party and I wanna make sure to stop by that too. So I'm praying that the food doesn't like make me just really sleepy, but. We're gonna make it happen, so that's the vibe. I'm sitting on my floor, about to turn on some TV. Oh, there's actually a Christmas movie on Netflix I've been wanting to watch called, I think it's Single All The Way. 
I assume it's a movie about being single on the holidays. I don't know, it just sounds really good. So I think I'm gonna watch that. I literally cannot wait for my Chick-fil-A, wow. Not me romanticizing my little dinner I'm having with myself. I get like way too much joy from leaving a social gathering and like eating and like being alone. It's just, I needed to charge my social battery, honestly. I met so many awesome people today though, it was so fun. This is the movie, it's called Single All The Way. I'm into it, I don't know any of the actors, but let's do it. Guys, it's here! Now this is a whole vibe. I mean, come on! Wait, I had to change it because I remember the next episode of the new Gossip Girl is the SantaCon episode. This only makes sense, right? Yum, love it. Hello everybody, it's almost 2 a.m. now and after I ate my Chick-fil-A, I fell asleep on the couch and then I woke up and then, and then Ryan and some of our friends from school came back and there was a bar that a ton of UGA people were at and he was only here for tonight. So he was like, can we go, can we go? So we went to this place called Fool's Gold, which was really fun. That is what's going on. It was a fun night either way. Santa Con was fun, but like I kind of understand why some people are like, yeah, you might do it your first year and then not do it again. I might have to do it again next year because Ryan is sad he missed it, but I don't know, it was fun, but it was just kind of hectic and chaotic and I don't always do well. And why well, do do well in hectic situations if it comes to do with like work stuff, but I get, I don't know, with social thing, I don't know. I don't know, it was a good time. This vlog was probably really random, but I'm making some mac and cheese right now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to bed, and tomorrow's gonna be a really fun day. I'm excited for tomorrow. I don't necessarily have any plans, but I have a wide open day, and whenever that happens, I do a ton of random things. So I'm really looking forward to that. Again, trying to go ice skating with somebody tomorrow, or Ryan said he needs help Christmas gift shopping, so that could be fun, but I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. And subscribe for more videos. Bye, guys.